Hello, collective. Today, we are going to take a look, a collective reading, at what we can expect for the last couple of months of the year, the last few weeks of the year, depending on when you see this. All right. <laughs> it may have a lot of messages for you, Spirit just said. So. Mm. All right, Spirit. Already throwing things out here. Um, for those of you that are new, this is an energy channel as such. Sometimes what spirit shows me intuitively is not traditional. Take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Okay, roles can be reversed. This could be talking about some third party situation. Okay. I do believe if you were guided here, there's something here for you. All right. So. Let's see what's going on here. I appreciate all of you returning. Yeah, like you're daydreaming about how something's gonna land, all right? Daydreaming about something, how something's gonna be landing in your life. Uh, listen to the music, okay? The music that you're getting in your head, the things that you're hearing out of nowhere, listen to those prompts, they are giving you messages. Um, it's almost like spirit wants you to kind of like not tell anyone that you are uh, waiting for something or to just keep your silence until this new energy peaks. But the problem is, is that your, your lower chakras are just like, they're like bossy and speaking up. I think if you get very creative, if you put those hands to work doing things, cooking, painting, writing, right, gardening, whatever it is that you do, you will find some reprieve from that angst, okay? Um, someone here is really sad, even though the door is fully open for them to uh, connect with something that they want in life. I think that that's going to shift. I think that if that's somebody you're dealing with, you're fully open. If this is you, you're going to see that you're open to receiving and that will shift for you. But this means that you have to, Spirit saying, you have to cross a bit of a bridge to release the past. Okay, you've got to walk ahead forward in order to get there. So let's go ahead and see a little bit about what is coming. Now this is gonna release to um, Patreon first, okay? And to the new one-offs where you can just purchase a one-off video. And um, that's for the extendeds as well. And so what I'm gonna do is next up is going to be coming out your 2024 readings. And those also will hit those energies first before they hit you too. Okay, they will be the extendeds for the week for Patreon. So Spirit, what can we expect here? Okay. Again, someone that's not speaking or that you haven't met yet really is working on connecting to this universal heart space. Again, very sorrowful, but it's like they have to delete something. They have to release something in order to come forward to where they're meant to be. And this could be you. It could be something that you're dealing with. Okay. I think that you... Release what you needed to, whatever blockage needed to open and expand for you to connect with a soulmate here, okay? And by doing that, you were following divine guidance, all right? Now, Spirit's telling me here that this is creating some open miracles that are going to happen in your life. And that's why they want you to stay grounded, but stay in the healthy grounding, not in that like really uh, 
angsty, fiery, lower chakra energy because there is this abundance that's coming to you through this grounding and through this open heart. Some of you may be getting cupping done, okay, may be taking advantage of um, they're calling it contemporary alternative services, but that's not what um, that's not the usual like way that it's spoken to, but that's the word that they're putting in my mouth. But again, this comes from this birthing. This birthing is allowing emotions back into your body. I don't want to get too banned from YouTube, but it's allowing these emotions to soothe your body and to be birthed out of your body and to let things land into your 3D. It's almost as if because we've got the blue in the blue, like you have to be open to allowing this into your life. And I love that right underneath there, again, this is the blessings, this is the miracle, and there's the balance, right? Like when you are balanced with this, it will balance with you, person, place, or thing in your life. Okay, so tell me a little bit here about this release. Thank you. It's interesting how it may this may really land with you on the next solar eclipse. They're just showing me here, okay? One more, please, Spirit, thank you. Okay, yeah, there's a milestone here that's coming. And somebody's having to be very courageous to open their heart and to consciously choose to be happy. Okay, that's not always an easy choice for us to make. To release this and to set the intention that you've just released and whatever the moon does with it, it does with it and you don't need to see it. Huge peaceful moment there for you. And as such, your divine guidance says, yes, you did what we asked and we're bringing in more connections. Again, they're showing me that creativity, right? Like some of you need to be more creative. <laughs> like I've been um, drawing and, and I have always joked that I can only like draw stick figures and I've been like, I'm impressed. Like I can draw like a fifth grader, right? Like I've just been enjoying the creation process now, Spirit says these miracles, that part of the intention that you set out with the moon to release, you did have some hidden motivations. This has to do with some inner child work. And um, they understand this, right? But they're reminding you that you are not stuck in that energy anymore. And as such, right, for you to leap ahead, Again, you have to cross that bridge and you have to let the past go. And that means this, this point of leap of faith, okay? So what do we need to know advice-wise about this for November's please, your spirit? Thank you. Eight of Earth. I feel like the 11-11 um, portal is going to be really big for some of you. Your ancestors are gathering around this portal to be there to send you these frequencies, to send you these songs, these messages, so that you have access to what you need to hear. Yeah. Definitely deep ancestral energy here, speaking to you through sounds. So really listen to the things that are coming through to you as audio messages, 
Okay. Yeah. There is the aspect of your inner child. Spirit says that they understand it, right? Because some of you were, more or less you have this feeling that you were kind of thrown out of the nest a little soon, is what Spirit's showing me. And that may not resonate for everyone. And some of you may be repeating that cycle by leaving behind somewhere that you felt safe. Okay, and so they don't want you to, to sabotage the blessings that they are sending into you. Okay, now, Ten of Air, um, because the messages get very spotted, very cloudy when you go down that rabbit hole. That's why they want you to really ground to their energy, to the energy of your ancestors, even if that means hugging a tree, right? Ground to that frequency. Um, again, I don't think that you know what is determined to come towards you yet. The craftsman of water. Um, just keep doing the work that you're doing. Spirit sees the offerings that you're making. Spirit sees the work that you're taking. Your ancestors are watching this as well. Some of you may be caregiving for your ancestral properties and they are watching this. Spirit says that this energy, this message that's coming to you is gonna come in when you're not even thinking about it. While spirit is taking away the little bits and pieces that you're releasing, the little stinky things, right? This is going to work through its shadows and get this strength and come in. And it's while you're taking care of yourself, while you're taking care of your emotions, which is actually really beautiful. What about some advice for December, spirit? Thank you. Okay, three of earth. Again, your ancestors are working with you and perhaps even with your parent or your child and helping to heal things and helping you to feel comfortable where you are instead of being like grass is greener over there, which is actually one of the pieces that I uh, drew. It was big fish in a little fish bowl little fish in a big fish bowl but they were both looking at each other like why why do they get that right spirit wants you to be happy with where you are okay and know that what's coming to you again that's been hidden is coming in very much as a protective energy very vulnerable a side you haven't seen in this aspect of your life before and to reveal these secrets, to reveal these truths that you've been waiting for, okay? Any more here, Spirit? Please and thank you. Yeah, again. You probably um, are going to have a lot of different options that are opening up for you. And it's leading you somewhere. All paths lead to the same space. Don't spend too much time in December waiting for which way should I go, right? Follow your heart. Follow your soul. Your mind can't figure it out. Okay, there's a magic in allowing the intuition to guide you and it alleviates the burdens that you have had. And I feel like there's January, right? Look at that, Ace of Fire, okay. And there's the Goddess of Water. 
it's just waiting for the fire, that creativeness. Once it gets able to be used in the way that spirit wants it to go, it warms up that water center and that's when that birth happens. Okay, so all of this is kind of in preparation for that transformation to bloom and blossom and be birthed in January. Okay. Yep. All right. What else here, Spirit? Thank you. Yeah. Okay. This is not about being perfect. This is about feeling the perfection of the life you already have. Okay. And knowing that it's like they're saying all debts have been cleared for your ancestors, right? Yeah, defend to the end the worthwhile. You've been through it. Some of you are working towards using your knowledge to help others. And this, whatever this is that's coming, helps you complete that process. Okay. Yeah, again, 1010 coming through right now. Focus on the light, okay? Focus on the light. Don't allow yourself to worry too much. The solar eclipse will clear things out. And um, 10, 10, 10, okay? You're releasing the path. They really want you to do that. Big ending, all right? Beyond the mind, the heart beats. This is a big ending. So now I gotta know, okay, you guys? Let me just look really quick. Now I've got to know, when is the next solar eclipse? Okay. The solar eclipse is a total solar eclipse happening Monday, April 8th, 2024. Okay. Um, the, the lunar eclipse is I think March 25th. So Aries season. So in 2024, there are two solar eclipses and two lunar eclipses. That is very grounding. Two, two. Okay. Um, the most anticipated one is April 8th, that solar eclipse. We have the partial lunar eclipse of September 18th. We have an annular solar eclipse, October 2nd, and we have um, the pre-numbral lunar eclipse on March 25th, right? So again, very active, very active Aries season, okay? So you heard it here first, all right? And again, the 10, 10, 10 just, again, shows up as the three. It is that you, your ancestors, and the energy are working together on this path forward that is meant for you. Okay. Anything else here, Spirit, about this path that the collective needs to know? Again, the three. They just want you to remember how divine this is, that you and your ancestors and the even just the earth, if not your intuition, are working together on this, okay? And you'll know when you know. Elder of air, when you hold that truth, okay? Queen of earth, um, 
have gratitude for it. Um, honor it. Bring it home with you. Like I told a client today to, you know, buy themselves flowers and thank those flowers. Bring them into their home and thank them for the work that they're doing. Okay. Don't have expectations about what the three means. Okay. Again, because they're like, it's just three. Three, three, three. Three of water. The full. It's just a new beginning. Okay. They're just helping you, raise you up. You've done the work. It's time for this new beginning. You've been very productive and they're ready to help you. And they've heard your requests here, the Hierophant, okay? They've heard your requests. They know what you're seeking. So let's pull out a little animal guidance here. Okay, again, you can't see right now physically what's coming. Intuitively, yes. You can see and especially feel that this, there's a lot of power in what's coming in this, in this beautiful energetic egg that um, I feel like is coming to land in your life. You do, again, remember that inner child wound, but Spirit says you're ready to rise up out of it. You've ended it. And as such, the scorpion and the tiger, they're saying that now you can be in your full embodiment of your heart. The white fire tiger is, right, my um, Libra sign that spirit gave me for the celestial spark story about the white fire tiger. And it is the divine feminine heart. It doesn't have to be a female. But they're showing me here that the ending of this sort of toxic fire that you were dealing with brings this sort of softness to things. Some of you could also be um, on the cusp of Scorpio and Libra, but they say this is a change, a shift, an adaption, okay? But this means that you're shifting and adapting to exactly where you need to be because this is bringing you to your um, true North Node. This is bringing you to your soul's purpose. Okay. Let's go ahead and close this off with an oracle. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hot moon. I think you're going to have a very passionate experience either based on the release that you made with the full moon with that solar lunar eclipse right with that hot moon or they're talking about um, it's going to happen one of these last moons of the year of the seven and it is a full moon energy it does in a way, create a tower that sparks a new future, a spiritual connection, an emotional connection, and an absolute change of your life that you don't even actually really see yet. And I love the butterflies here because I just barely posted a short that, um, you know, Butterflies can't even see their wings. They don't even know how beautiful they've become after they've gone through their metamorphosis. They just trust it and they fly. And spirit wants you to focus on that trust and be patient, okay? Patient with this change that's coming in. Focus on keeping that release. When you start thinking too much about the new and the growth and everything else, that's when you're going to get into your head and you're going to start spiraling. All right. So I am going to do an extended on this. When this launches live on YouTube, that extended will be available in Patreon and for a one-off. 
uh, purchase. That link will be down below. That's where they will always be or at mindsetunicorn.me. Okay, so I love you guys. Have a very beautiful rest of the year. Bye.